Hi, I'm Andy. And I'm Mac. And this is the lowdown on home buying scams. According to the FBI, there are significant increases in the number of real estate fraud crime. Today, we're talking about we buy home scams, who they target, how they work, and how to avoid being the next victim. We've all seen signs on the side of the road saying, we buy homes for cash with a phone number to call. While some of these investors are real, a lot are trying to dupe unsuspecting homeowners into selling well under market value or to take owner's cash right out of their bank account. Let's talk about the first one selling under value. The target of these schemes are generally older homeowners who have houses in disrepair. The investor will offer well under market value due to the condition of the home and trick the homeowner into a contract that gives exclusive buyer rights to the investor. Some will even go as far as recording sales documents with the local government to cloud title in case the home seller decides to back out of the sale. This causes the homeowner to be unable to claim a clear title to a new legitimate buyer. There are cases of clouded title taking 12 to 18 months to clear to be able to sell the home. Another way scammers are targeting home sellers is via check fraud. The scammer will write a check for the full value of the purchase while never actually having enough funds in their account. Inevitably, the check will bounce, but this can take up to two weeks while the seller's bank is attempting to collect those funds. In the meantime, the scammer will have the seller sign a deed giving the legal rights of ownership from the seller to the scammer. After the dust settles, the scammer owns the home and the seller never actually receives those funds. Finally, another common scam is so-called foreclosure relief. In this scenario, a scammer will contact a homeowner who has a notice of foreclosure on their local government records and offer to assist with their mortgage payments. They get the homeowner to agree to a lower monthly payment and the scammer will receive these payments and offer to cover the shortfall to the mortgage servicer, usually with some type of payback due to the scammer at a later date. However, the scammer never actually pays the mortgage on behalf of the homeowner and pockets their money. This is a doubly problematic outcome as the homeowner is losing money and falls even more behind on their payments, making foreclosure an imminent action. Here are some ways to avoid these scams that your clients might find useful. First, don't respond to unsolicited calls, mailers, or emails regarding selling their home. If looking to sell, contact a real estate agent in your market to sell the home for them. And be wary of anyone trying to have you transfer title without using an escrow account or a closing attorney. If you're facing difficulties paying your mortgage, contact your lender directly. If your buyer is pressuring you to sign documents or close very quickly, don't cave to the pressure and take your time. You can find more videos like this at knowledgecoupplus.com and we will catch you next time.